Hi, this is Hovali School News. Jake Boring is here to speak about the newly planted hedges that are involved in a science project with the RHS Wisley. Hedges are a simple inexpensive intervention that can improve our environment. They can be homes for wildlife and feed pollinators when in flower, shield us from noise and pollution or reduce flood risk. We have planted two mixed hedges in the playground in November 2022 as part of a science study to investigate more details on how hedges benefit the environment. This project is carried out by scientists at the Royal Horticultural Society and funded by the 1851 Royal Commission. As you can see, we are near Ho Valley's new planted hedges. Now we have planted these at, in November to then be able to have a better environment. Now how these work is they have pollution sensors inside that help us realise how much pollution is in our, play, uh, in our school. Now, this is going to help us maybe get rid of m more, most of the pollution and see how these are able to benefit the environment. Hello, I'm Jake Bowen here with Miss Herbertson to talk about the hedges planted by the RHS programme. Now, how do hedges work and how do they make the environment cleaner? Uh, one of the things that's really important with the hedges is that there are a variety of different plants. So you get lots of different animal species that live within them. Uh, and by increasing the biodiversity, you increase the resilience of the natural world to help us fight against pollution. So how do we change the, the like air pollution into clean air from these bushes? How do they work? So, well, the primary way that the hedges will work is that the more leaves you have in the area, the more photosynthesis you have. And the more photosynthesis you have, the more carbon dioxide is turned into oxygen, which obviously is good news for us and for the natural world. If we put hedges all along the roads, would it be able to like suck up the fumes coming out of the cars to make it sort of non-existent? It would certainly help. I don't know if it would make them non-existent. Um, and it would depend on the type of plants you use. Some plants are better at absorbing pollution and handling it than others. OK, thank you, Miss Herbertson. I'm Jake Boring, and goodbye. Today we'll be looking at the new and improved Hull Valley School lunch menu. The chefs have now been employed, and the menu has now more options. Let's go to Rebecca for more details on the story. Good afternoon, Abby. I'm here with Chef Paul. We'll be asking you a few questions about the canteen. Our first question is how the new foods options are healthier than the old. So the reason the health, I would say they're healthier is because we're using a lot more homegrown produce now. So we use fresh produce, we're not using frozen. And everything is uh, red tractor, it's British standards meats. So we've got a, more of a formality against our foods. So that's... Our, our last question is how do you choose to add a new, why did you choose to add an extra window? So the reason we put the extra hatch in, because when I took over the numbers were at 215 and it was taking 40 minutes for us to get the food out in time, but now we're doing 500 a day. So to still make sure that all students can make it on time to class, we've had to add the extra window, which is for speed. Thank you for your time. Passing back to Abby. Thank you, Becca, for this report. Thank you for all your time. Now, I'm here to inform you about the new time changes that are happening to our school. Here is Heyana and Mr Kelly to tell you everything you need to know. Today we're talking about time change happening later this year in September. As you know, Hovali ends at 4pm, but it will start ending at 3.30 instead. School lessons will now air be 55 minutes and lunch will be cut back to 40 minutes. Mr Kelly, why do you think this is important? I think it's important because I think your concentration levels towards period 6 um, at the end of the school day is lower than the earlier periods of the day. You being able to uh, get into more extracurricular clubs outside of school. If we are finishing at even half an hour earlier, I think it will allow more students to engage in that and it will allow us to have more competition with other schools because they all finish earlier than that 4pm which we have. And there are just a couple of reasons. And how do you think this will affect the students' learning abilities? Uh, I, I don't think it will disadvantage the students at all. I actually think it will help with what we're doing as a school. So looking at our cognitive science approach, that we're looking at the students, understanding how the brain works, and actually understanding how we get things into our long-term memory. Uh, research is showing that all of these things are the way that we should be looking towards helping our students. And how about you as teachers? Do you think it will affect you differently? No, I think if you can't get through what you need in a 55-minute lesson, um, I certainly think there's, there's times where we're going to have to look at what we do within our planning, but I don't think it's a bad thing at all. No, I, I honestly believe you can deliver a 55 minute lesson um, to students that won't disadvantage them at all. Thank you for your time. Now, moving on to Hull Valley School Sports. Chloe, tell us about netball. Good morning, Miss Peterkin, and thank you for coming. How do you think the year break netball is going? 
So currently we've only had a few games, but we've got lots of league games coming up. Um, until half term and I'm thinking that we're going to have some losses but some wins we've been working really hard in training um, on our attacking and uh, attacking principles and defending um, so hopefully we will win a few when do you think the next year rate netball match will be and how do you think it will go well the next uh, netball match is today and I think it'll go really well we've been working really hard on our set plays from centre pass and how we get the ball into the D successfully and how we maintain possession. Last question how do you manage teaching PE and being the leader of the netball team? Um, it's all about organisation so my key thing is to do lists I make sure I do lots of to do lists and get them all done and just to make sure that I'm on top of everything that is um, going on week to week. Thank you very much for your time Miss Peter Kim we really appreciate it. This is our Ho Valley 3Gs, where from year nines and above, you can enjoy and practice sport at break time and lunch time. You can also use this in PE lessons from all years. This is the Moogers, where year sevens and eights can come here at lunch time and break time and play a variety of sports. They can also use this during PE lessons. I think I think that football is just is better just because it's more proactive and way more physical than netball. I think the netball is better because it has more teamwork and communication used. I think that netball is extremely similar to basketball. This is Whole Valley School News saying bye.